Sometimes in Excel, you'll end up with a worksheet that isn't working correctly and you have to figure out why. This is a small example of the kind of worksheet that I sometimes have to fix. So they've added color coding to the different sections. It probably doesn't mean anything. It's just there to make things look pretty. So I'm going to dig in and I'll start by getting rid of all the colors that are on the worksheet and then find out what's really in here. Before I do this, I would always make a copy of the workbook so I have the original to go back to if I need it. So on the copy, I'm going to select all the cells and get rid of the formatting. Just on the Home tab, I'll go to the Fill and select No Fill. I'll add my own color coding as part of my troubleshooting. First, I'd like to find out where the formulas are. So I'll select all the cells again by clicking at the top left. And on the Home tab, go to Find and Select and click Formulas. So all the formula cells are selected now and I'm going to put in a color Usually I use gray for formulas. The next thing I'll look for is any cell that has a constant value in it. So something that's just been typed in a cell rather than a formula. So selecting all the cells, go to find and select constants. And these cells I will color a light blue. We can see right away where the text was entered. We can also see these cells that should be formulas are constants typed in the worksheet. So that's probably one of the problems that we'll have to fix. So now we're going to see if some of these constants are numbers rather than text. Select all the cells again, find and select, and there's nothing here that distinguishes between numbers and text. We can only select constants. So I'll click Go to Special, click Constants. I'm only interested in numbers, so I'm going to uncheck the other boxes and click OK. Perhaps those should be data entry cells, so I'll make those a bright color. And the last thing I'll look for is any cell that has data validation, because perhaps we've got some drop-down lists. I've got one here, there might be others. So selecting all the cells again, find and select data validation. And that's going to find any cell where there's any data validation rule. So not necessarily a list, but any rule. And I will make those an orange color. So it doesn't look pretty right now, but at least I know what kind of information is in each cell. And that will help me as I do troubleshooting. And when I'm finished, then I can take out most of this formatting and perhaps just highlight the cells where the data should be entered or where there's a drop down to select something. You can also add a little list on the sheet here with a color code that shows what each of these colors mean while you're working on it. For more Excel tips and tutorials, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.